wasn't there. I did do some investigating at the pharmacy school, though, and I tried to figure out what what happened to the pharmacy school. I went to the president of Texas A&M about Steve and I both, because not too long ago, moving the pharmacy school back to Kingsville. But here's the history of what happened in the pharmacy school. It was politics of the worst sort. Basically what happened is the state representative for Kingsville, they had this, where everybody, all the legislators, Democratic legislators went to Oklahoma or something and they were, I forget what was going on, but they were trying to stop something that happened in the legislature. Anyway, whoever that was, I can't remember his name, went to Oklahoma. The Speaker of the House at the time, Tom Craddock, took revenge on him. And the way he took revenge on him, it wasn't, I will guarantee you this, I've looked through all the board notes, I've looked through everything I can. It wasn't A&M saying, hey, we want the pharmacy school in Kingsville. It was Craddock saying, I'm going to punish this guy. So politics of the worst order, I will admit that from his point of view, and we're going to take that away and, and move it out. Now, since then, Steve and I have gone back to the university, to the university in College Station, and said, what do you guys think about moving this back to Kingsville? And here's the problem. Steve, I know Steve has had a conversation with his alumni association about this. And the problem is, is that because it's in a health science center, they moved it into a health science center, and there is separate funding for a health science center, and it is way millions and millions of dollars more than it would have gotten here. And we're trying to wrap our arms around how you would do that and not lose all of that funding from the kids that you already have in the, in the pharmacy school. I get it. I think you're exactly right. I think it was a mistake uh, for the Speaker of the House to move that, but it was not Texas A&M that stood up and said, hey, we want the pharmacy school. There's nothing in the notes, minutes, or anything. And I've even talked to old board members back there. It was just pure revenge on the part of Tom Craddock, who was then the Speaker of the House of Representatives, who 